This is one way to improve yourself, lose weight, get in shape, feel better. But guess what? Computers are getting into the self-improvement act too with programs like this one, Joe Wider's personal fitness trainer. I'll bet you still have to sweat though. From fitness to speed reading to relationships, computers are making it easier to be a better you. Today we'll take a look at self-improvement software on this edition of the Computer Chronicles. Computer Chronicles is brought to you in part by Intel, microprocessor technology for the software of today and tomorrow. Intel, the computer inside. Additional funding is provided by the Software Publishers Association, providers of educational materials to help manage software. Don't copy that floppy. Welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Chaffe, and with me today is Bruce Ehrlich, president of Mindware. Bruce, you guys have been selling self-improvement or psychological software for a long time now, and the newest thing you have here is called MindViewer. What is that? How does it work? Well, MindViewer is personality software that allows you to understand a little bit more about yourself or somebody you want to know more about. Okay, so I take myself or someone and we take a kind of test with the software, is that what this is? Yeah, you can see that you uh, agree or disagree to a, a whole series of adjectives. So this is a person named Jennifer who took this mm -hmm. test and these are the scores she put in, rating herself on how high strung she is, educated, humorous, independent, on and on and on. Yeah. Okay, once she takes the test now, how do I get a look at her personality? Well, it's very simple. All you do is go to the report uh, part of the screen, and uh, you can uh, either display it to a screen or you can uh, print out a report, okay. which is about five pages. It starts out with uh, her personality x-ray. Right, so we see uh, how much drive she has, reliability. We see she's very low on emotionality, medium mm -hmm. on aggressive, a lot of reliability, and so on. Mm -hmm. All right, how much deeper can I go than that? Well, you get a five-page report. It tells mm. you a little bit about her public self and private self and so forth, five pages in all. And uh, as I say, it uh, is in depth. Yeah. All right. Now, how real is this stuff? Is this kind of pop psychology stuff you do at a party, or is it really useful information? No. It uh, was developed by Dr. James Johnson at the University of Minnesota. It's based on solid uh, psychological principles. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've had uh, hundreds of Mindware customers who've written in and told us about how it accurate worked. the... Oh, it works. All right. Today, we will look at self-improvement software, covering everything from fitness to dieting, from IQ improvement to relationship building. Now, one popular technique for dealing with physical, psychological, or emotional problems is biofeedback. So we'll begin today with a look at how computers are being used at the Biofeedback Institute of San Francisco. Okay, these are electrodes that are going to go on your scalp. Okay. Biofeedback training uses a variety of measuring instruments to teach a patient how to control her mind and her body. Dr. George Fuller von Bosai has designed a PC-based biofeedback system that provides brainwave analysis in real time. The new EEG software is particularly exciting because it's online and in real time. So we're doing power spectrum analysis of the brain waves at the very moment that it's occurring. So that's the first time that we can actually get feedback. Prior to this, you could do it diagnostically by measuring it, then doing a lot of number crunching and then getting those, that data later. Now we can actually show the person how their brain is operating at the very moment that it's happening. When they concentrate and attend, we can see the pattern of concentration and attention. In this exercise, the patient is asked to concentrate and to try to bring the reading on the meter to the center. This one is uh, measuring the one side alpha from the other side alpha, actually. and. Um, if you get it centered in the middle, that means your brain is in synchronicity. There's no traditional input device here. The line moves in response to your brain waves. I can't focus on one thing if there are three things going on around me. By using this computer, it will enable me to focus on what I'm doing and not what's going on around me so I can get more of what I'm trying to do done. Dr. Fuller von Bosai has developed over 150 exercises for biofeedback training on the PC. His neurodata system is only available for professionals in the field today, but he expects it to be available for self-help on your home PC in the not-too-distant future. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Jonelle Patterson.
We have become a health conscious nation of joggers and dieters, and if you can't have your own personal trainer or nutritionist, you can do almost as well with today's self-improvement software. Here to show us how are Lauren Titus of Lifestyle Software and David Heeman of Health Desk. Lauren, let's begin with you, and you have the program Betty Crocker's Eat and Lose Weight. Right. And how there's, do you use the program to do both of those things? Okay, well, there's two aspects to it. There's the recipe management where you can create uh, tailor-made menus for each member of your family, mm -hmm. 1,200 calorie-a-day menus. And then there's the help files where you can actually learn the five-point program to eating and losing weight. Uh -huh. um, the, the calorie charts, I see. The calorie chart here is real important. As part of the program, you're supposed to monitor the exercise, that you do every day, and this is a chart here which will help you so keep track sort of, of it. So the built-in calorie chart on what you eat. Right. What about calories burned when you eat? Okay, you work? and then there's the. Uh, there it is. See, yeah. Which will help you uh, monitor how much you're actually doing, mm -hmm. um, everything from cycling to dusting. All right, show me the recipe planning part. How would I put together a healthy menu? Okay, say you're having vegetarian friends over, and okay. you want to avoid chicken. Mm hmm And. Uh, and fish, uh -huh. but you just bought some, some veggies, huh? fresh squash okay. from the farm stand down the street. So you're going to go through the whole database of possible recipes. Right, and there's over 200 it. recipes, and the program brings up all the recipes that match, including okay. some that. Well, don't my quite vegetarian fit. friends might not want the Italian sausage. Right, so here's a. But we do have some others. Uh huh, uh -huh. and then it'll give you a list of all the recipes that'll match those specifications, and. Okay. Okay, and so then they're the ones that meet it. Okay, and say for instance you like spaghetti squash uh -huh. and then here's so a picture of serving oh, and suggestions that's what it look like, huh? and each recipe has nutritional information mm -hmm. so that when you create a menu for your dinner party you know then you sure. can uh, get a complete nutritional analysis uh -huh. of the menu all right David let's turn to health desk and I guess you take a very broad view of health not only diet but exercise and all the other health aspects Yes, that's right. We try to uh, give people a vehicle to take an active role in their health and explore different areas of their health. All right, run us through the, the, the menu, menu here. Sure. On the left side of the screen are 11 different choices for you to take responsibility for your medical records. Today, with the health care crisis, people need to have this information available for physicians. Seventy percent of a diagnosis is based on what you tell the doctor. Um, so that's one big component of the program. On the right side of the program are five different choices to get more involved in a specific area of your health. Mm -hmm. We have exercise, weight, okay, stress, so what heart can I health. Learn about exercise here. First part of every manager is data tracking. You can have a diary or a log. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're a runner and you want to keep track of your running activity. When you go running, how many miles and minutes? Once this information is entered in, you are able to calculate how many calories you burn. Uh huh. You can even go in and graph the information, see if you're making progress. Hopefully this will motivate this you. This is my to daily record of calories yeah, burned so while running. Yeah, so notice it's uh, on the rise. Mm -hmm. Every health manager has an information section, and here we have a series of visuals on that topic. And the, the goal here is to increase awareness through exploration. So that's really explaining what's happening when I'm doing that exercise to the muscles in my leg or shoulders and so yes. on? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's say you had a problem with your lower back, you could uh -huh. even go in here and find some stretches to do for your lower back. So you can uh, pull out a, a, a particular exercise for a problem. That's great, with animation on the exercise. OK, what else can we do? If you're concerned about your cholesterol, that's why we might be eating low-fat foods, mm -hmm. um, we can go in here and understand the difference between HDL and LDL. It actually shows us how the heart's working in an animation. And what's all this? This is how to interpret a value when you get uh, the lab reports back from your doctor. You may not understand that LDL is the bad cholesterol. So mm -hmm. we're trying to make health education very entertaining as well as interactive. Mm -hmm. Well, stress is on everyone's mind uh, nowadays. Yeah, stress management. How, how stressed out are you today? <laughs> on a scale of one to five here. <laughs> okay, I'm six, I think. Uh, okay, well, you All can right. put six in. <laughs> okay. So you better try a stress reduction method. Uh -huh. So let's go in and find out how stress is affecting our body. Here are the different areas that stress so that affects that really is what stress does to you physically. Yes, yeah, so you get cold hands sometimes because your blood isn't circulating uh -huh. down there. And you might want to try abdominal breathing. That shows the benefits of the right kind of breathing. And if you're really adventurous, you can go in and try the sun salutation, which is a 12-step yoga It'll actually process. take us through the different steps. And Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, what about the, the weight section you had there? Yeah, well, we were looking at a cookbook earlier, and uh, a big... 
uh, news mm -hmm. as our new pyramid. And here you might want to understand what uh, what a six to eleven servings really right. mean of bread. So you've got a lot of this text background to explain what's in the program. And here's how fat. Uh, so when you get fat, that's where it goes, huh? That's on a male, and then a female. It's a uh -huh, little bit different. Uh -huh. Try to explain the difference between body fat and weight, and how you can't go on a crash diet. We even put a women's health section. A lot of women during usability tests asked us to uh, mm -hmm. put a part of the program that would do their menstrual cycle or how to do a self-breast exam. My favorite part of the program is the resource guide. Here you can go in and find nonprofit organizations to give you additional information. So if you can't it's, find what you need in the program, it'll give you the non-smoking clinic or whatever. Exactly. So I'm going to bring up smoking right mm -hmm. now. And here's some different, different places to get in touch with. With a whole paragraph That's about great. Them. Lauren, David, thank you very much. If you are a student just graduating from school, one issue you're dealing with is a career. What do I want to be when I grow up? Well, there is even software to help you figure that out. Pat and Ross Nida are business consultants who work with a software program called Career Design. They use the software to help their clients choose a career path. Ross knows a little bit about how this works. He used the program to find his niche in the business world. I was going to be a corporate guy in a, in a chrome and, and steel box and do consulting, and I realized that there's, I didn't want to be that kind of person. Ross was about to be a corporate person and suddenly became a half-time consultant, half-time teacher because of career design. It helped him understand that he was interested in kids and technology and being his own boss and all those sorts of things. Career design is an interactive self-help program that directs the user through a series of exercises designed to answer three questions. Who am I? What do I want? And how do I get there? Ross Nida says the software forces people to focus on the right issues and in the right order. A lot of people want to start out with a resume. Mm -hmm. You end with a resume in career design. You figure out with career design what you want to be and how you think you want to get there, and then you go and get the resume stuff. It, and if there were advice that I would give job hunters and career changers, don't start with the resume. You end with the resume. Otherwise, I mean, you're missing all that goes ahead of it, and the resume may just be a hollow shell that does you no good at all. That's a, that's a really important point because a lot of people end up focusing on what is the best typeface and what kind of paper is the best paper to use. And really the issue is how can I best live the rest of my life? What are, what's the best way to demonstrate who I am so that I have a fulfilling job? That's a really, I think that's important. Once you decide on the right job, career design helps write your resume and lets you practice job interviews with sample questions and answers. The software also helps you set salary goals by doing backward financial planning. Tell the program how much you want to spend each month, and it will tell you how much gross income you need to earn. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Jonelle Patterson. Suppose you want to do better in school, do better on your tests, read faster. Software to the rescue. Joining us now are Faye Schwartz of Davidson & Associates and back with us Bruce Ehrlich of Mindware. Faye, how can a computer help me read faster? Well, a computer is really ideally suited to help you read faster. The typical adult reads about 250 to 300 words a minute, which is about the speed of conversational speech. Mm -hmm. In other words, we read word by word just like we speak word by mm -hmm. word. This really limits us terribly. So a program like Speed Reader can help you refocus that, those habits. It can help you read two to three times faster with no loss in comprehension, usually a gain in comprehension. Show me how. OK. Let's say that you begin your warm-up, <clears throat> you begin your workout with reading warm-ups. We're going to look at warm-up words today. You will see two words flash on the screen briefly. And then you pick them out of the list which appears. You click on them, and they come on the screen at ever-increasing times. Let's say that later on in our workout, or maybe the next week, we moved up to three words at a higher speed, speed nine. It would look something like this. Wow. So you see. Um, so these are just exercises to get me to see more words. Exactly. Time, these, huh? these are exercises 
to increase your peripheral vision, to mm -hmm. make you use your peripheral vision, and to speed your perception. Let's look next at newspaper reading. We all have lots of newspapers and magazines to read, and this exercise will help you to do that better. The speed is adjustable. Let's read this one at 500 words a minute. First we see what the topic is going to be, mm -hmm. and we're set, and we see the reading appearing on the screen with groups of words highlighted. This guides your eye movement so that you can read efficiently. It, again, forces you to use your peripheral vision. It does not allow you to backtrack, which is very yeah. wasteful and, um, and takes a lot of time. At the end of every reading passage, you get an opportunity to take a comprehension so quiz. So it's not just speed, it forces me to know what I was reading. It forces you to know what you're reading. It tests your comprehension. We're not going to do that now, but we are going to look at a progress graph. At any time, you can look at your progress uh, chart or you can look at the graph. Let's look at my progress on newspaper reading. Mm -hmm. And we see in graph form, um, the wonderful progress I've made in newspaper reading. How much faster reading. you got each time you practice? Yeah, this. I went yeah. from 250 up to 650 words a minute, uh -huh. which is a very reasonable goal, really. Very accomplishable. Um, so in summary, I would say that Speed Reader can make you a, a faster, more, more flexible reader. It can give you a range of reading mm -hmm. speeds. Uh, reading everything at the same slow speed is something like having a car that goes only 20 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Uh, it does get you from place to place, but it's not efficient and it's not much fun to drive. Okay, Bruce, your turn. Faye showed me how to improve my reading and you're going to show me a program that will help me improve my intelligence? Yes, it's been discovered by scientists that uh, you can actually improve your intelligence by practicing it. And here at Mindware, we've developed a program called IQ Builder, uh -huh. which actually helps you to build 53 different components of intelligence. All right, show me some of the modules here in IQ Builder. Well, I'm going to go into a practice test first. You have, uh, we have a general test in IQ and then verbal and numerical. Okay. And you can see here in the practice uh, So we're going to practice, practice a general IQ test. Yeah. And uh, here we go. It's, uh, it's going to load the uh, test material. So and we're going to uh, see sample questions. So yeah, insert here, the word that means the same as the words outside the bracket. Yeah, that's, a, okay. that's what's called a verbal. Um, uh -huh. ran, ran out of time. So it times you also, huh? That's correct, yeah. Then here's the a missing, missing number well, for a numerical we've one. We've seen all these in these IQ tests. Find yeah. the, the word that doesn't fit in the category, the word, uh-huh. What else do we have? Another number one. Here's a... Okay, uh, the figures, pattern recognition Pattern things. recognition, right. What else? Let's go through a couple more for us, Bruce. More pattern recognition. Uh-huh. Missing word again. So it runs you through the verbal, the, the, the arithmetic skills and so on that would be in a typical IQ test. So what you do is you improve your IQ in this part of it by practicing uh, IQ test questions, isn't That's it? right, and then at the end you uh, get a, an actual IQ uh -huh. score. And what it does is it actually saves your, um, saves your uh, place in the uh, program, so mm -hmm. each time you come back to it, you can go to a higher and higher level of IQ. That's okay, how, how about some of the other skills that are up there on that menu at the beginning uh, besides that IQ builder, per se? Well, we have, uh, for instance, uh, um, we have a like uh, memory, section on see, memory, yeah. right. And uh, we have the, uh, for instance, memory of color. And um, you can see that uh, it's now showing you a, a series of patterns of color, and you have to study those patterns and yeah. in a so minute they'll go away. So please view the test pattern, and then I'm going to be asked to say where the colors were and so on? That's right. Number of attempts, I see correct matches, correct colors. Uh -huh. And then they go away, and then you have to uh, find out, uh, put... Right. Okay, what other, what other kinds of skills could I work on for my brain here? Well, we've got, uh, for instance, perception, so we can go into um, perception of uh, balance and um, you're going to be uh, given uh, a series of, uh, of uh, 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 dots. dots you have to, yeah, you have to uh, be able to... And how uh, many were, uh, were on the screen or yeah, how many were on the other right. side and mm -hmm. so on? Uh -huh. Now, is there any data, Bruce, that suggests, I mean, this really works, I get smarter or better somehow by, by practicing yeah, these kinds of things? Yeah, they've actually done a whole series of uh, experiments where they've shown that, that IQ can be improved through um, practice. Mm -hmm. So it's like muscles, not huh? just like a Nautilus? This yeah, is... it's like a Nautilus machine, uh, well actually a series of Nautilus yeah. machines, and each one isolating a different mental muscle, so right. to speak, so Practi you can work them out. Practice my brain muscles. Thank you both very much. Okay, in just a minute, software that will analyze your personality, so don't go away.
When NASA wanted to find a way to evaluate the personalities of future astronauts, they turned to something called the Kaler Process Model. Well, now you can use that same psychological tool to evaluate your own personality. Here to show us how is Karen Conroe with a program called Insight. Okay, how do we use Insight to evaluate our personalities, Karen? Insight begins with a 30-minute interview comprised of statements and responses. You choose the responses that are appropriate for you, mm -hmm. and your responses result in a personality house, a personality structure. As so this we would be the profile here. of someone who's just taken the, the interview. That's right. And what does it tell us about that person? That's right. It tells them their personality base, their core, and how the the other segments of their personality are integrated into their. So this is a major actions. workaholic here, huh? <laughs> yes, okay. that's right. That's right. Uh, once you see your personality house, you have basically a window on yourself. Mm -hmm. Insight helps you to use this information to uh, improve your daily life, to become a, a happier, uh, happier person with your psychological okay, needs so met. What is this screen doing here? What this does, it provides uh, seven steps to personal and professional success. Uh, one that I would like to look at today is managing stress effectively. Well, for our workaholic uh, subject That's here. That's right. We're okay, all so I can go in there and pick one of these seven things, and, and the That's information right. I get is tailored to my profile. That's right. It's tailored okay. to you individually. So let's do it. Okay, we all know that what's stressful for some people is uh, exciting or mo uh, mm -hmm. motivating for somebody else. Uh, each of us has specific distress patterns and uh, a predictable mm -hmm. and observable distress signals. So this is giving us basic background on the principles of stress in general? That's right. That's right. And, and then when do we get to, to our subject here? Um, this subject uh, it talks about first, second, and third degree distress. Mm -hmm. And for this particular subject, first degree distress is uh, being in an attacker mode. So being, this person's an attacker. Yes, uh -huh. being overly critical, uh, more concerned about what's wrong instead of what's right, mm -hmm. being over controlling, hmm. um, perhaps pushing your beliefs, um, saying, oh, you can't do anything right. Do I have to do everything right mm -hmm. around here? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. something that will be very typical. Uh, the bad news is that everybody has these kinds of uh, stress indicators. The good news is once you realize what they are, you can catch yourself mm -hmm. and take steps to uh, address this in a positive way. And in the long run, work to uh, tailor your life and look for the types of environments uh, that mm -hmm really energize you. So as we, could, we could spend a lot of time and, and you, you go through a lot of this uh, yes. advice and then how do you get to do something about what you've learned? As you can see there is a lot of information here. Mm -hmm. We couldn't hope to go through it in this short time. Okay. Uh, Insight has something called the Insight Action Plan and we'll get to that in just a minute. Okay, so this is all the information that we could get about Look ourselves. Look at it. Yep. Uh -huh. And that's the specific distress sequence of this particular person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, what do we do? Insight has an action plan, and the Insight Action Plan uh, allows individuals, it gives them a specific structure for taking the information that they have received and using it, translating it mm -hmm. into actions that they can take in their everyday so life. So if I wanted to work on my communication channels, for example, mm -hmm. what do I do? I go to four. Okay. Um, there's a little bit of an, of an introduction, and it gives you a format where you can mm -hmm. enter what can I do to increase my potential for career success? So it really forces me to go in there and say something yes. and do something about right. this. Now hmm. that I've learned all this great stuff about myself yeah. and the environment around me, what do I do with it? And this can be printed. Hmm. This can be printed out. You can take it with you every day. Hmm. You don't have to take your computer with you. Karen, impressive stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, that's our look at self-improvement software. Stay tuned now for this week's Computer News on Random Access. In the random access file this week, are you ready for Windows 4.0? Microsoft is now alpha testing its newest version of Windows, codenamed Chicago. Analysts are predicting the release of Windows 4 could represent the biggest upgrade binge in the history of PC software. The Lawrence Livermore Labs used to work on developing better bombs. Now the Livermore Lab is teaming up with IBM to develop better hard drives. The researchers there say they believe they can increase hard drive storage capacity by a factor of 30. Compaq is again lowering prices on some of its desktop PCs, mainly the ProLinea and DeskPro models. Compaq also announced several new 486 models. 
Acer has introduced a new low-cost multimedia PC under its Acros brand name with an expected street price of under $1,400. Discover Magazine has announced its annual awards for technology innovation. In the computer software category, the winner was Global Link Translation Software. It can do two-way language translation between English and Spanish, French, German, or Russian. The winner in the computer hardware category was the new EO Personal Communicator. Finally, what would it be like to use a mouse in zero gravity? Well, NASA is trying to find out in a series of experiments being conducted with PC World Magazine's Test Center. The results are due out at the end of the year. That's it for this week's Computer Chronicles. I'm Janelle Stelson. Computer Chronicles is brought to you in part by Intel, microprocessor technology for the software of today and tomorrow. Intel, the computer inside. Additional funding is provided by the Software Publishers Association, providers of educational materials to help manage software. Don't copy that floppy. Video cassette copies of this program are available. Computer Chronicles also publishes a companion newsletter containing details on products demonstrated and information on program topics. To order a video cassette or a newsletter, call 1 800 799 4949 or write Computer Chronicles. Please specify program subject for tapes. All orders include a free software program for auditing software use and information on the definitive guide to keeping your organization's software legal.